Governor Jared Polis has laid out a plan to deal with Colorado's now year-round fire season, which includes setting up an Office of Climate Preparedness, investing more than $20 million in more firefighting tools like air tankers, as well as special funding to help homeowners impacted by wildfires. State officials say fire danger and other climate-fueled disasters will continue, and that's why many Coloradans are looking for ways that they can help our state as well as the planet, in some cases starting in their own neighborhoods. Michael Abeda joined a group in Denver today. And Michael, while they certainly can't change our current climate trajectory alone, they are still doing what they can to keep Colorado clean and beautiful. And you know, Kelly, Colorado is their home just like it's our home, and they want to keep it looking nice and clean for anybody who lives here or visits. So what we're going to do is we're going to get everybody gloves in a trash bag. Saturday morning, hundreds of people met up in Rhino to do some belated Earth Day trash removal. It was an event hosted by local clothing company Be a Good Person, Topo Chico, and real estate company Edens. This was their second annual cleanup event. We have put a lot of effort into doing these. Be a Good Person owners Julia, Nikos, and Darian say hosting these events is important to them because sustainability is important to them. So important, they try to reduce the amount of litter they put into the environment. Using less plastic, we don't get any of our t-shirts shipped in like individually bagged plastic, everything in our warehouse, you go in our warehouse, everything's out of the plastic. And we're trying to mitigate how much hang tags, extra things, extra things we put into the clothing. That's the little things that start to add up the matter. They want Denver to have a future that they can be proud of. So their small army of volunteers took to the streets. Now let's get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Sustainability is, you know, creating a longer term community. So we don't want, you know, Denver in the next five years to really lose its sparkle. We want to make sure that, um, our, our parks and even just around the streets all the grass is green and the trees are growing and while this group can't clean all of the city they can do their own block which they hope will make a small difference in the long run I mean, it is a massive job and you have to make sure that you know every day you're focusing on one thing or another now they weren't immune from those warm dry winds they were blown around out here while they were trying to pick up trash but they say it's worth it to help out mother earth in Denver, Michael Aveda, covering Colorado first.